Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you got a small accounting tax CPA practice, I create a ton of content out there for you. But I just had a guy call in yesterday, and you know, he's he's small beans. He he's not a big guy. Um, he'd love to get to a point where he's growing his business. He's got better billing. He watches all my videos, and he's all in. He's like, yeah, I'd like to do that. Hearing his voice, one of the biggest difficulties that accountants will often have, and I mean this respectfully, is that you're not value focused, you're cost focused, and you might be an introvert. You know, process and precision is what drives you and it's what makes you a great accountant. Running sales meetings and prospecting phone calls and making sure that your prospecting is going well and running great meetings and asking for the sale and closing the sale often isn't the strength of a CPA. It just really isn't. So outside of that though, I want to talk about your digital presence for just a second. I know I've got some content out there about this. Um, This guy had been using one of these kind of like a CPA site solution or one of these template systems where there's customization that they use, but essentially the website's built on this template system that they have. And he was wondering, you know, I looked at some of your sites, I saw your website and I liked it. And I saw some of your client's website and boy, that looked way nicer than ours and I sent them over um, Asnani CPA out of San Francisco or Hayward, California, A-S-N-A-N-I CPA.com. You know, that's a nice site that we built with, with decent conversion and some basic SEO stuff in there. And he saw that and he was like, what do I do? But he had a small budget. So what I want to talk about right now is what do I think you need to do in 2020 so that you can have some success as a small person? If you're just doing taxes, if you like the idea of you know heading into um, the outsourced accountant model, that's all business acumen and running your meetings, but it is messaging and communicating and that is a little bit about what your website is. However, with the website, here's what I would do. First of all, remember that your website and Google My Business, and I'd say YouTube to an extent, those three things are gonna be your most important um, platforms that you can emphasize. Why? Because they're inbound. When people search a term, they will find websites, blog posts, Google My Business posts, and YouTube videos. They will find your Facebook page, but usually not from a generic term search. It will always be a branded search. So if you search your name, which is great, you know, that's like searching Jostin's rings. I'm driving by the Jostin thing in Edina here, right? Um, Jostin's website, Jostin's Facebook and Instagram and YouTube are going to pop up. But if I were to search jewelry, you know, custom jewelry, Minnesota, it's probably not going to be their Facebook page that pops up. So the idea here is that's called a branded search when someone search, searches your name or your brand. Well, yeah, you can win with that. But Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of that does not pop up in any organic search engine results in Google or Bing. And that's incredibly important. Um, YouTube videos will. And people do go to YouTube. I'd say that YouTube is is the second biggest search engine out there. Um, Now, am I biased towards it because it's really helped my business? Absolutely. But what's cool about it is that it can bring you know, your tone, your personality, your expertise, you can teach on there, you can answer questions and it, it, it can be higher end production or it can be authentic. And that's going to be my next point. So, um, focus on the inbound website, YouTube, and Google my business. You have to go to the Google My Business account. You need to get reviews. Anybody that you've serviced, you need to get them to show you or show the world that they trust you. So you need to ask for a review, ask for it early, and then follow up with it and make sure that you are asking for reviews and getting reviews. If you get more reviews than your competitors in an authentic, trustworthy, integrity-based way, you're going to win. If you, if Don't cheat. Whatever you do, don't cheat, don't lie, don't don't. Do not play games with Google My Business. Don't open up in PO boxes. You know, if you have an address, do an address. Do not push the envelope with Google My Business at all because it is an area you cannot afford to have shut off. And there's enough fraud going on in Google My Business that if you play games with it, they're shutting people down. And even if you just start changing your address too much, or I'm telling you, be very careful on Google My Business. Do not play games with them. But be posting in there, put pictures in there, optimize it, put your services in there, write some descriptions, connect it to all of your other accounts, um, which is a whole other thing. I'd put a footer of it pointing to it in in the footer of your website, some, some real basic stuff. 
Then on your website, make the website you. Don't use a bunch of stock photography. If you're gonna use stock photography, at least have it be stock photography from your region. I'm a big believer in people need to come to your website. Now there may be a feel and a smell and a spirit about your branding that you wanna bring about. That's for, that's for great branding. If you can do great branding, do great branding. We do that with folks. Um, there's some really inexpensive things that you can do to, to get that humming. But for most small businesses, you know, get some professional photography of your region and of you, which sounds dorky, but go on a walk with a photographer. It doesn't need to be glamour shots. It doesn't need to be just sit there and get your, you know, a portrait taken of you. Um, what it needs to be is it needs to be you in your region or doing sector relevancy. You need some sort of relevancy. And I think relevancy to your region is most important. So go get the water towers. In fact, I'm right here by the Edina water tower. If, if I were you, I would take pictures in the winter and the summer, all the different seasons, you doing something with that water tower in the background or, or something like that, your logo. You know, if you've got a jacket with your name on it, doggone it, do that. Uh, but get that imagery and get it all over your website. I would also say, um, having an authentic website that just shows who you are, where you do it, and this is where I get really biased. I'm very biased towards, I think a website, particularly for a small local business, authenticity and relevancy to the who, what, when, and where. I wanna know who you are, what do you do, and where do you do it? In local, that's, the, that's, that's what you have to get nailed down. If somebody gets to your website and they can't see that you're an accountant in Edina, right? Or that you do taxes in Edina, or if you, whatever that is, if they can't see that very quickly, you know, it, it doesn't connect. So if you can have some sort of imagery that's just authentic, the communication is you, you know, don't be overly formal if you're not overly formal, but if you're a formal CPA and an accountant, which you might be, um, that's totally fine. But having a template site with all sorts of stock photography and articles that you didn't write and don't really mean anything to you, you know, that's, that's not worth it. It needs to have your voice. It needs to communicate to your um, customer, which that's the last thing I would add is that your website needs to talk about the sectors and segments that you actually do work in. Don't focus so much about who do you need to, uh, who do you need to focus on all of that crap. What you need to do is you just got to be you. If you be you and you do the right optimization, it'll work. Get, you know, give me a call, Rob at feedbackwrench.com. Um, I'd love to, we set your site up, we do your digital footprint, we can do advertising for you. Good luck in everything that you do. Talk to you later.